please introduce yourself. Uh, Glenn Hornstra. I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Um, I've grown these giant pumpkins for about eight years now. And what's it feel like to grow a, a fruit that's almost a ton? It feels amazing. I was going for a ton, but I'm happy with it. Uh, biggest one I've ever grown, so, so now I just set new goals for next year. And you came all the way down from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan? Yeah, about 10 hour drive. So, came down uh, Thursday and we were over in Hamilton, Ohio yesterday for a way off and came over here with this one today and took first place. So there's a whole system for weighing these and working out all the numbers? Yeah, they measure these to estimate the weight, you know, and it gives you an idea where it is. Uh, so, and then as far as weighing them, yeah, they they go from smallest measurement to biggest measurement. Mine's biggest measurement ended up first. So, I, so how does one little plant grow something like this? Um, so the plant is about a thousand square feet and you only keep one pumpkin on that plant. So I started this seed April 7th in the house and it goes out. I've got, I've got a greenhouse to get a little jump start because it's cold up there in the spring, you know. Sure. And so then I, they're all hand pollinated. We use the male flowers and pollinate the female flower and it's all, it's a controlled pollination to ensure good genetics. So this was pollinated on June 21st. So I think that makes it, when I harvested it, is about 112 or 13 days old. So it starts out a little yellow golf ball size. Yeah. I had vine crops when I was in high school in 4A, so I, I know a little bit about it, but I never grew anything like this. No, they're, they're kind of addicting. So what happens to it when you get it back home? Well, this isn't going home. This it's been sold. There's a guy up in Dundee, Michigan. I usually sell them to, and he he knows people that buy them. So he's kind of the dealer, or whatever, pumpkin mover, and so. That's the biggest one. Yeah. So that's what I do with them. I used to take them home and carve them, but then then I've got just a big mess to clean up. So it's better to let them go and see. Other, so a lot of people can enjoy them, you know. I've sold them to casinos and different places, so a lot of people get to see them that way. All right, well, welcome to South Central Ohio, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.